What you should know about omega-3 fatty acids Why they're a beneficial fat Not all fats are bad for you. Omega-3 fatty acids are considered one of the healthy fats. Heart disease, depression, dementia, and arthritis may all be reduced by using them. They are not produced by your body. You must consume them or supplement with them. Understand the three types of omega-3s. Omega-3 fatty acids are available in a variety of forms. DHA and EPA, which are present in fish, appear to provide the most health advantages. Vegetable oils, flax seed, walnuts, and dark leafy vegetables like spinach include another type of Alabama a little quantity of olive can be converted into EPA and DHA by the body, although not very well. Omega-3s and disease prevention Omega-3 fatty acids are beneficial to your heart in a variety of ways. They reduce blood vessel inflammation, and the rest of your body. At large doses, they also reduce the risk of irregular cardiac rhythms and lower triglyceride levels in the blood. Finally, they can prevent plaque from forming inside blood arteries. If you have a heart condition For those with heart disease The American Heart Association suggests taking 1 gram of EPA and DHA each day. Although eating oily fish is ideal, your doctor may suggest taking a fish oil capsule. A prescription dose of omega-3s may help protect your heart if you've suffered a heart attack. According to several research, heart attack survivors who increased their omega-3 intake had fewer heart attacks and died from heart disease. Helping your heart's rhythm Omega-3s appear to have a heart-stabilizing impact. They can help avoid arrhythmias by lowering heart rate, abnormal heart rhythms. Fish and walnuts are two common sources of omega-3s. Fish, walnuts, broccoli, and edamame are all good sources of omega-3s, green soybeans that are often steamed and served in the pot. Cutting triglyceride the omega-3 fatty acids DHA and EPA can help decrease triglycerides, a kind of blood fat linked to heart disease. Before taking omega-3 supplements, consult your doctor because some varieties can increase your bad cholesterol worse. Exercising, drinking less alcohol, and avoiding sweets and processed carbs like white bread and white rice can all help lower triglyceride levels. High blood pressure treatment Omega-3 fatty acids can aid to reduce blood pressure. One strategy is to substitute fish for red meat in some meals. Salty fish, such as smoked salmon, should be avoided. Limiting salt is likely one of your doctor's recommendations if you have high blood pressure. Do they help in stroke prevention? Omega-3 meals and supplements enhance blood flow by reducing plaque formation inside blood vessels. As a result, they may aid in the prevention of strokes caused by clots or blocked arteries. However, excessive doses of omega-3 supplements may increase the risk of bleeding-related stroke, so consult your doctor. Useful for Rheumatoid Arthritis Omega-3 fatty acids have been shown in studies to help persons with rheumatoid arthritis reduce joint pain and stiffness. Anti-inflammatory medicines may be more effective if you eat a diet rich in omega-3s. Depression and Brain Benefits Depression is less common in countries where individuals consume a lot of omega-3 fatty acids. However, omega-3 fatty acids are not a therapy for depression. If you're depressed, talk to your doctor about what you can do to improve your mood. Helpful for ADHD According to some research, omega-3 supplementation may help with ADHD symptoms. Omega-3 fatty acids play a crucial role in the development and function of the brain. They may contribute to the benefits of standard treatment, but they do not take the place of it. Dementia Research 
Omega-3s may help protect against dementia and age-related mental decline, according to some studies. According to one study, elderly persons who ate a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids had a lower risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Children and Omega-3 Be careful of claims that Omega-3s can help children's brains function better. The FTC has instructed supplement makers to stop making that claim unless they can back it up with scientific evidence. The American Academy of Pediatrics advises children to consume fish, but warns against mercury-rich species like shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish. The Day's Catch Fish is the finest source of the omega-3 fatty acids DHA and EPA. Some types are more potent than others. Salmon, mackerel, herring, lake trout, sardines, anchovies, and tuna are all popular alternatives. The American Heart Association suggests eating fish at least twice a week. A serving of cooked fish is 3.5 ounces or 3 quarters cup flake fish. Try tuna. Tuna is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. Albacore tuna, commonly known as white, contains more omega-3 fatty acids than can light tuna, but it also contains more mercury. Depending on the species, the amount of omega-3s in a fresh tuna steak varies. Supplements with omega-3 You can receive omega-3s via pills if you don't like fish. For patients with heart disease, 1 gram per day is recommended, but consult your doctor first. High doses can cause interactions with some medications and increase the risk of bleeding. Some supplements may have a fishy taste and cause fish burps. Read the label to determine how much EPA, DHA, or ALA you need. Omega-3s from vegetarian sources If you don't eat fish or fish oil, algal supplements are a good source of DHA. Commercially farmed algae is typically regarded safe, while wild blue-green algae can contain toxins. Canola oil, flax seed, walnuts, broccoli, and spinach, as well as omega-3 fortified goods, are all good sources of the type of omega-3, 